Hello, and welcome to this video. Um, I will show you how to make a Google Forms survey, a very easy one. I'll provide an example. Now, uh, the first step is to go to your Google, sign in into your Google account, and please go to your Google Drive or Google Forms itself. Now, after you log into your Google account, you can see there's a little app button right here. So again, option one, you can go to Google Drive right here, or option two, you can go to Google Forms. Oops. Okay, sorry, let me repeat that. Google Forms, which is a little bit lower in the menu right here, Forms, which also works. Um, so I will just show you how to do it from Google Drive. So here you can right click in your drive, you can create a new document, you can actually select Google Forms. So this will help you make a Google Forms survey. So let's start. Okay, so I will make today's example very easy. I recommend you not only listen to this video, but please try to do the exact same I'm doing. That's the best way to learn. So let's call this, um, this, this is a survey, of course. Let's make an easy survey that maybe you would like to send your friends or your classmates. Uh, let's call this, uh, let's make this about an ice cream. Let's make this an ice cream survey. Okay, great. And now if you click on the uh, top left here, it will copy paste your title and that's how it will be saved later in your uh, Google Drive. Okay, so let's make some questions. Today, I'll try to show you all the different types of questions. So if you click on untitled question here, there's a choice of questions you can select from, short answer, paragraph, multiple choice, check boxes, drop down. You can even have a file upload button where participants from your survey could upload pictures or uh, information or documents, a linear scale type question, multiple grid choice, tick box grid, date and time. So let's start with the easiest one, multiple choice. So how about this question? And I recommend you write the same. Do you like ice cream? Very simple. Okay, and after you've written your question, since this is a multiple choice question, you need to also add some options. Option one, let's just uh, put in a simple yes. Option two, let's put in maybe so-so. <laughs> and option three, let's input no. You could also um, add another option where people can type in their own answer, uh, but I think this is good enough. So I will go on to the next question, but before so, maybe I will make this a required question. So. Uh, participants cannot skip. They must answer the question before going to the next question or before completing the survey. Let's create another question. You would click here on the little plus sign, add question. Okay, question number two. Uh, let's make this maybe different. How about uh, a checkbox question? So checkbox in comparison to uh, multiple choice, multiple choice, you can only choose one. Checkboxes, you can choose many or multiple. So how about this question? What kinds, plural, of ice cream do you uh, like eating? Okay, so let's put in some options. I'll put in many options. Let's write maybe vanilla first. Chocolate. Add more, matcha. I do live in Japan and matcha is very popular. Mango. How about cookie cream? One of my favorites. Strawberry. And here, um, it would take me forever to write all the different kinds of ice cream. So maybe I'll, uh, instead of click, clicking an add option, I would just click on add other. So here, participants can write their own answer if they cannot find their answer in the list. So here, uh, I'll also make this required. Okay, next question. Again, I need to click on the plus to add a question. Let's do um, a Dropbox question. So it's very similar 
to multiple choice, but basically they will click on a box and then they will choose their options. Okay, how about this question? Which is the best ice cream shop in Japan? Question mark. Okay, so I'll put in some options here. Hagen Daz, I do believe this is the spelling. If I made a mistake, <laughs> please, <laughs> please double check on Google the spelling. I always get it wrong. 31 ice cream. Godiva. And how about something different? Let's just say uh, convenience stores. Okay, perfect. Let's also make this required. Let's go to the next question. Okay, how about uh, linear scale? And sometimes in research we say Likert scale, linear scale question. Um, a question where they can choose a number from uh, one to five or zero to 10 and so on. You can choose. How about this question? How many times on average, so I think in Japanese would say heikin on average, um, do you eat ice cream in a week? Okay, in a week, seven days. Um, Perhaps some people, it's zero, so I would change the one, the starting number from zero to five, or I can go all the way to 10. Maybe some people do eat uh, 10 a week. You could put in uh, put on a label. For example, for zero, I could write none. You don't have to, but it's just an option. For 10, I could write 10 or describe what this means. It means a lot or <laughs> too much. Anyway, I could put in the label there. Again, I can make this a required question. Okay, let's go to the next question. Now, I want to show you something which is a little bit, uh, maybe my example will not be perfect, a little bit more complicated, multiple choice grid or multiple choice um, uh, tick box grid. But uh, this is more like a multiple choice. This is more like a checkbox. I'll just show you the multiple choice uh, one. Okay, so this is when you would combine two elements. For let's say I want to combine an element of time, when, and uh, an element of who. When and who um, is it best to eat ice cream with? So for example, what season, when? What season is the best for eating ice cream? And who would you be eating ice cream uh, with uh, during that time or those times. So uh, here for rows, I would just put maybe uh, some seasons. Summer, winter, fall, and maybe to finish spring. Okay. And here for columns, I would uh, write some options. For example, um, brother or sister, friend, a friend, your parents, boyfriend, girlfriend, for example, okay? So what would happen here is uh, the person taking the survey there will be a grid of four options to four options. So there will be 16 options. For example, oh, I think the best is a summer with my friend. Or I think the best is spring with my uh, boyfriend or girlfriend. And here I could require one response in each row, but I don't have to. Let's say um, winter <laughs> is not an option for most people. Then they would not have to choose uh, an answer for winter. Okay. So here, maybe I would prefer not to uh, check this. Let's go to the next question. 
Okay, how about a question about the, uh, let's go maybe to time right here, time. When is the best time to eat ice cream? So this is a very simple question where um, whoever is taking the survey, the participants would have to write the time. So maybe they could write one o'clock, type in one o'clock, two o'clock, whatever time they feel is the best to eat ice cream. Okay, I'll make this required. Okay, next question. Um, yes, how about a question about the date? I'll select date here. When is the last time you ate ice cream? Okay, so maybe this is hard to remember. Not everyone can answer this question. So maybe I would not click on required for this one. Okay, let's say I also want to change the order of my questions. For example, oh, I wanted actually this one to be the last question. But what you can do is click on the question. For example, I want to move this question uh, before the other one. So I would click here on the little dots. Okay, and I will pull it up, drag it up, 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 and drop, drop it here. So this becomes my previous question. And now this becomes my last question. Okay, maybe a couple of more questions. Let's click on add question. How about um, a short answer question. Okay, so let's write this. If if you created or you started a new ice cream shop, what would be a good name? There we go. So here they would have a small space to write their answer. Let's make this required. Okay, and final question. How about a paragraph question? Paragraph is the same as short answer, but uh, participants can write more. So how about this question, a longer, an open, an open question? A question about opinions. Do you think ice cream is or can be healthy. Explain why or why not. And then the participants could write a long answer. Let's make this required as well. Okay, so the only question I did not show you is the Pixbox uh, grid, which is actually, I'll just delete this. I, it's the same as here, the multiple choice grid, but um, people could click on many options. For example, if here I have 16 options, four by four, uh, 16, they could, you could, uh, the person could actually click on all, all 16 options. Okay, so that's it for uh, this video. Um, in the next video, I will show you how to uh, put this survey that you made on your website, it, which is very easy. Yeah, you will be clicking on send. But uh, please note that there are many ways to send your survey. You can send it by email. You can just copy this link and send it to participants. Or the final option, which I will show in my next video, you can actually uh, input the code in onto your website and put the survey onto your website. Okay, thank you so much for listening to this video. And hopefully uh, this gave you some new ideas on how to uh, write some original questions for a survey with using uh, using Google Forms. Thank you so much for listening.